Hi, I'm Kenny Coleman, a director for Tanzu Technical Marketing. In this demonstration, I'm going to show Tanzu Kubernetes Grid in a hub and spoke architecture to create Kubernetes clusters in edge locations. Then I'll show a new feature of single node clusters using a minimal operating system to reduce the overall footprint even further. I have already completed the deployment of Tanzu Kubernetes Grid's management cluster to my main data center, as we can see here in vSphere. This was configured as a production deployment with multiple nodes for a highly available control plane. Under the covers, a new feature of node anti-affinity for vSphere has also been implemented. Through the use of a vCenter specific API and Kubernetes labels, the nodes get affixed with a new label and rules are set in place to make sure Kubernetes control plane nodes are not running on the same ESXi host. Starting with Tanzu Kubernetes Grid 2.0, cluster class is now used as a way to define and build new clusters. The standard cluster template from the documentation is a good way to start building a simple template. Make any changes to the template, such as the types of nodes, the OS, the CPU, memory, or anything else you'd like to edit. Next, you can issue a new dry run command to the template and a new YAML is generated that has all the specifics implementing cluster class. I'm going to deploy this new cluster to the California Edge Data Center location, which is represented by a single ESXi host inside of vCenter. In the YAML manifest, I am using kubevip as my preferred API endpoint because it's lightweight, fast, and doesn't require any third-party management tooling to issue IP addresses, which makes it really great for edge deployments. In the manifest, I provided my vCenter server IP, along with credentials for authentication, and also values for the data center, data store, network, folder, and resource pool for where to deploy the cluster. Within vCenter, I have already uploaded the Ubuntu OVA from VMware Customer Connects portal and turned that into a template that will be used for building the cluster. Using the Tanzu CLI, I can issue a Tanzu cluster create command and specify the file to begin deployment. And after a few minutes, the cluster is up and operational. The process that we just completed can be repeated multiple times for many edge locations. By changing just a few values, such as the API endpoint for the IP address and other vCenter variables for placement, Kubernetes clusters can be spread over multiple clusters, data center objects, and even vCenter servers. All that's required is connectivity back to the management cluster. We're not done just yet. Let's take a look at another new feature of single node deployments. Kubernetes architecture typically relies on a separate control plane and data plane node. This creates a barrier of separation between API calls and where your apps actually run. As we just saw in the previous demo, resources are plentiful in my lab, so I can deploy lots of nodes if I wanted to. However, many edge environments always have constrained resources, so you want to reduce any unnecessary compute capacity. By removing the Kubernetes control plane taint, both the control plane components and your apps can all run on the same single node or single virtual machine. VMware has also provided a new minimal operating system for both Photon and Ubuntu that only contains the necessary packages and deploys the core components needed for Kubernetes, reducing the overall CPU load and footprint. After the minimal OS has been added to vCenter and turned into a template, there are a few steps to perform since this feature is currently in experimental or tech preview mode. I'm not going to show all the steps, so please consult the documentation or tech zone for the latest instructions as these could always possibly change. After the edits are made to the management cluster, it's time to create the new cluster class spec. Within this spec, I'm only changing a few things. First is setting the Tanzu Kubernetes release to search for the tiny TKG image. The control plane replicas are set to just one, and the version to look for is also set to the tiny TKG image. And I have also removed any configuration for any worker nodes. Using the Tanzu CLI, let's deploy this cluster specifying the file that we had just created. And after a few minutes, we can see that the cluster is up and we have our single node Kubernetes cluster is now available to us. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out Tanzu's Tech Zone for more tutorials and demos.